Hello and welcome guys hope you are doing well in this video we are going to learn about the most interesting topic that is called how we do online payments so in this video we will be working on stripe payment in order to receive the payment of event so without uh, wasting further time let's get started so first of all we have to close the application as it is running because uh, if you want to install any package and if app is running so you should have to um, close the app so first of all we have to go to the browser and search for the uh, flutter stripe and i'm going to use the latest version of the flutter stripe as it is published 10 days ago by flutter stripe.io and it is also supported null safety so basically uh, flutter stripe is now supported in all the three platforms as you guys can see android ios and web uh, in the previous versions it was not supported in the web so there is a uh, big news for you guys if you want to use stripe in flutter web you guys can use flutter stripe as well <clears throat> now first of all we have to go towards the pubspec.yml file and we have to paste the package over here and then we have to get packages uh, in vs port when we click or uh, when we uh, hold command and s so it get packages automatically or we can also get packages by using this download button so packages has been installed successfully now if we move down a bit there are some configuration regarding the android as we are working on the android part so let's first configure the android part it is saying that uh, the plugin requires several changes to be able to work on android devices please make sure you follow all these steps so there are basically six steps number one is use android 5.0 api level 21 so uh, this basically means that we have to uh, our system or our app should support api level 21 so this is basically the first step so how we can check that our app support api level 21 or not so for this we have to go towards the android folder inside android folder you to click on app in app we have source inside source uh, sorry uh, if we click on android and then on app basically we have this build.gradle file so we have to click on this right uh, over here we have minimum sdk version 29 so it should be 21 according to the uh, documentation let me change it 21 right so now let's uh, see the second part use Kotlin version 1.5.0 and above so they have also given example uh, of how you can change the Kotlin just click on this and you guys can see they have Kotlin version 1.5.0 let's check our Kotlin version Mm, I think it's mentioned over here uh, in the uh, app level uh, in the sorry sorry it in the project level so basically the gradle file that exists under the app directory is called app level build.gradle file and build.gradle file that is exist outside the app directory is called project level so let's click on the project level build.gradle file and yeah I have a higher version and then 1.5 so it should work on in my case and the next step that we have to check uh, is where the documentation goes uh, yeah. the next thing that we have to check is using a de decent of theme app com app compact for your activity so i think uh, this is supported by all project projects uh, and let me show you how we can check this for this we have to go toward the string.xml file uh, inside app source inside main we have a rest folder this is basically resources and then we have values and string.xml file so sorry it is not supported uh, we have to paste one line over here as you guys can see uh, launch theme we have to comment this line and we have to copy or paste the line that i'm going to share over here 
so basically for this i have uh, took notes over here i will share the this part with you guys uh, so we have to paste the copied sorry the line that i have copied over here so basically launch theme should be a uh, light one this is required and let's check for the new next step uh, it is saying that you should use updated version of griddle uh, as i'm already using and number fifth point is use flutter fragment activity instead of flutter activity so basically uh, i have changed that before let me show you uh, just click on java uh, in my case uh, it is not supported kotlin so i have changed in java and inside main activity dot java so it was previously let me revert it back so you guys will get code like this so what you have to do you have to do is just click on example and here you just have to copy the uh, this line and paste it over here make sure to put a semicolon and the next thing is flutter fragment activity and paste it over here so yeah we are done with the configuration let me go back and the last and final step is saying that rebuild the app as above changes don't update with hold reload uh, if the app is already running so make sure to close the app and then rerun the app now let's let's save the files uh, yeah and then click on main and let's give it a run okay sorry uh, let's let's integrate the uh, stripe itself so first of all uh, if we guys can scroll it a little bit down so it is saying that uh, set the publish publishable key for the stripe this is mandatory so one thing we have to do is copy this thing and inside main we have to paste it over here and for this we have to import the stripe okay so what is stripe publishable key stripe publishable key is nothing just uh, just the key that exists in your stripe account so i have already created a stripe account and it's free uh, you guys just go to the stripe stripe.com and then you just sign up for the account and make sure to click on the test mode because if you are in the real mode then maybe the payment will not work because uh, you you are not paying with the test cards right click on test mode uh, so it should enable the test data and this is the publishable key make sure to copy this uh, i'm going to show it here i have created a file app constants dot dot over here i have two variables one is publishable key and another is secret key uh, the the most securable or vulnerable thing is uh, try to obscure or hide this secret key from users uh, this means that don't paste your secret key inside the client app i think uh, load it from the server that will be better so we have to replace our uh, publishable key over here but I'm not going to uh, to paste my secret key over here because you guys will know my secret key and it will be harmful for me so I'm just going to use that, that particular variable its name is publishable key yeah over here uh, and it is already imported because I have imported the file last time the next thing that we have to take care is uh, i will share with you guys a file that i have created uh, that exists under services and payment service and payment service dot dot over here i have uh, commented on this code let me uncomment so what does this code basically works uh, it have function make payments it is understood that this um, function is capable of or responsible for creating payment it is basically requiring context amount and event id uh, this information are not required by the stripe itself but uh, i'm going to use it for the other purpose uh, i think amount is required because we have to uh, specify the amount part in the stripe section so i have a method uh, create payment intent 
to create payment intent i am passing amount and the currency usd let's check it out what this payment uh, this method is doing now if i come over here i am just sending amount in string and currency also in string then i am creating this uh, map as uh, it is a type of string and dynamic now first of all uh, it basically takes amount and for this i am passing calculate amount calculate amount is basically expecting uh, amounts as a input and then it calculates uh, this amount into cents so basically if you provide it the one dollar then it convert into the hundred cents so basically stripe is working on the cents uh, case then another point is uh, another key is the currency and payment method is basically a card uh, and then we are calling uh, HTTP method to uh, call this particular URL. So this URL is basically creating a payment intent. This is uh, this URL is from Stripe, and they are uh, suggesting that uh, call this uh, URL in order to get payment intent. And here another thing is we have to pass authorization, uh, which is our secret key so uh, this is very important if you guys share your secret key with someone else so they can withdraw money uh, from your secret key so it should be off secured and i'm using this secret key that i have uh, created in the app constant dot dot file so make sure to replace your own as i have not placed yet and then if it is successful then it return the response from the api otherwise it returns nothing so when this method is completed, it basically returns us the payment intent data that basically involves some information from Stripe that yeah you can pay or no, or either yeah you can you can't pay, right? And then I am initializing Stripe dot instance init payment sheet, uh, and then we are initializing payment sheet uh, with some informations that are getting from the payment intent. Uh, we are passing payment sheet parameter. Uh, which basically take payment intent client secret and this secret is getting from the payment intent data uh, and then we are allowing with apple pay google pay test environment as we are working on test environment so we have uh, made it true if you are working on the production environment then we have to make it false and then style merchant country code us and then this is the uh, di merchant display name ems right so these are all information that are required while creating a payment now if it is successfully done as you guys can see it's inside the try if it is successfully done over here then we are showing uh, a display payment sheet like uh, display payment sheet and then uh, this display payment sheet is doing nothing except uh, where it is here yeah. Uh, it is just um, showing the display payment sheet from the bottom sheet and if we paid successfully then then method is called uh, which basically did and then this is our application logic so we are uh, uh, we are basically uh, going toward the collection of events and we add this user as joint user and we reduce uh, maximum entries by one suppose if there are total entries uh, 20 if one user is uh, joined for the event so make some entries get reduced by one and then we are also storing booking information like uh, event number one booking contain uh, this user with one ticket right so all this information and then we are displaying uh, successful uh, snack bar so yeah guys that's it uh, these are a little bit explanation of the code uh, hope you guys will enjoy when we run this app so this is the checkout page what we have to do is we have to call this method from the join button join oh sorry uh, i think it's a book yeah book now so we have to call this from the book now uh, as you guys uh, know that we have several type of payment like uh, by card by paypal and by stripe so the uh, the value that stripe uh, exists is selected uh, let me run it out and then you guys will understand the upcoming parts okay it's launching i will get back when app is running
this app is now running uh, let me show you what I have to, what I was talking about if I click on this event and click on join so basically we have three kind of payments one is through card payment one is through PayPal and one is through Stripe so basically when this Stripe is selected we have to call the function then uh, I have created a variable for this uh, selected selected radio so selected radio is basically representing this element uh, it is one two and three uh, let me check once again yeah selected radio and then zero one two and three yeah three is basically for the stripe let's implement if our selected radio is selected radio dot let me do if statement first if selected radio equal, equal is equal to 3 then we have to call make payments function this basically taking the context as I have described and another thing it takes is the payment and third thing is event ID so we will get event ID from the widget dot event doc dot ID and for the amount as I have told that we have a uh, event fee and the service fee so we have to get these things as well so we have to pass all information from here so this is going to be event this is sorry this is going to be the amount that user should be charged so now let's click on book now button and see the result Oh sorry nothing happened yeah yeah it, nothing happened just because of the secret key uh, let me show you the error yeah it is saying that uh, um, create intent response uh, when the API has been called they are saying that invalid API key provided your secret key so yeah uh, I am going to just pause the video and uh, then I will paste my secret key in the code and then I will resume the video so you guys can't steal my secret key uh, sorry i'm just joking uh, try to use your own guys i have replaced my secret key uh, and now let's give it a restart in order to take effect and then we will check it out it has been restarted and let's click on the second event going to click on join and selecting stripe sorry for the spelling mistake he is missing over here and then clicking on book now so yahoo yeah you guys can see uh, it has been loaded we are going to pay through card so we have a few test cards available from the stripe the one is uh, that i'm going to use is uh, 12 times 5 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then 4 times 4 1 2 3 4 and you guys can use any month and year and any CVC as I'm using one two three and country you guys can select country but leave it twenty six thousand and then you guys can see it is showing, uh, showing three dollar because one dollar is event fee and two dollar is service fee I'm going to click on pay button and processing is started so yeah guys you can see it has been uh, amount has been paid successfully so this means that we have registered for this event now let's check uh, yeah so it was 100 spots uh, available for this event uh, then I have registered and it is showing now 99 spots so yeah guys uh, this is how we get online payments and uh, how we implement stripe uh, thank you so much for watching the video please share and subscribe with your friends